Hi guys and welcome back. This is a bit of a strange intro. I am in a different car than normal and I'm in the queue for McDonald's because I'm about to do a four hour drive down to my friend Leanne. Uh, she's off to Royal Windsor tomorrow and I said I'd help because she's in the concourse class. Um, I'm going to her new house. I haven't met her dog yet. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, let's go. Ruby, Ruby, hi! That is the problem. Everything. I know where everything. <laughs> hi! I've made it to Leanne's, and my only rule was not to get her minging tack room in the vlog. <laughs> this is Storm Eunice's fault. Honestly. This is this is my OCD is literally cringing. It's all outside, so we're gonna be cleaning it all and packing it all. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, this is Leanne, <laughs> fellow blue chipper as well. She's doing, what classes are you doing? Sight, uh, traditional side saddle concours and costume concours. Traditional concours and costume concours. She is not OCD like me though. And nope. I, I actually can feel my heart slightly racing a little bit. So, gonna be busy. And busy it was. It was actually already about five o'clock at that point, so we, Got to move on. We decided that we'd get the trailer cleaned, the car cleaned, and the horse cleaned because we could not go to the Queen's Back Garden looking like it did. So this is Pippin. She is a 26-year-old Cleveland Bay Cross. She's been with Leanne for, I think, about 10 years now. They've been doing side saddle, I think, for a couple of years. But we got her all plaited. We got her bath. We got all her tack cleaned. She needs a little bit of help with the fake mane, but you know, she's an old girl, we'll let her off. Nighty night. <laughs> Four thirty AM alarm. I haven't even done that for one of my own Good shows morning. yet. <laughs> so someone was raring to go. We did have a three hour drive, uh, more than capable. It's nice in the truck. But I decided to actually clean all of like the bridles and stuff on the way just to pass the time, keep me awake. And then before we knew it, we were here pulling into Queenie's back garden. Now I took Dublin here back in 2018 um, and this has given me the drive to want to enter her again. So, oh, watch his face. Pippin can be quite feisty, so it was a case of getting there, not giving her bags of time. We just jumped straight into action. I got to blacking all of her legs a little bit more because they're a little bit like gingery on the inside. Leanne finished off the plaits, and then Rebecca, who makes the concourse dresses, came. And because she does side saddle, she's very, very knowledgeable, and she helped Leanne get dressed. I popped my groom's outfit on. I had the pony all ready to go, and then it was time to set off. Now, it takes like two or three people to get a side saddle person ready it's such hard work and i can see why back in the days everyone used to have maids to dress them because it is such a just i can't even i can't even get my head around how much work goes into side saddle now literally just beyond the car park is the old famous river where everyone comes to get their famous river photos but it does mean you get some absolutely spectacular sights there's just some gorgeous carriages going around and then once we were in the collecting ring and Pippin was all warmed up it was time to just titivate once again change canes get all the fly spray on make sure the makeup is all still in place make sure she's happy make sure Leanne is clean so much goes into grooming for showing it's just insane So this part of the showground is actually really busy because all the spectators um, and visitors actually can all come down to this area. So there's people everywhere, there's grooms everywhere, there's all different types of horses because there's all different types of classes going on and it's all kind of put towards the back. So all the collecting rings are just an absolute hive of activity. People wandering around with lint rollers, fly sprays, but you can see there just all the crowds of people they come to watch. It's all a little bit, you know, behind the scenesy. So 
we headed on down to the Adelaide Arena and when I got there, the basket broke. Ooh, it's a really good job I wasn't actually going to have to go in the ring, otherwise I was going to have to cradle it in. But we had all the carriages warming up and unfortunately this class does an 8 mile hack around the grounds before they get judged. But the carriage class started right behind Pippin's Arena, which looks spectacular but unfortunately just really wound all of the horses up. But with such a prestigious show, you're going to get things like this. It's just unfortunate it's so early in the year when the horses haven't quite got out and about to see all the sights again. So side title is pretty similar to normal showing. They all do a big go round together. But then the difference is for the individuals, they come out in groups of sort of three or four. It, I don't know why. I kind of like it. It's a good sort of system. However, my poor Leanne, Pippin was just so wound up and strong and just, she got herself really stressed and then unfortunately Leanne just gets a bit stressed. I am very proud of them though, they did their little individual, Pippin was very good, that crunch transition was just beautiful. They did their class, I think it's their first proper big side title show of the year, so it is really really good just to get the experience get out there and do it in front of all the people and just to ride Pippin through when she's like this because it's inevitable that she's going to be like this again at some point. But I did say to Leanne when the class was over, off you pop, go and get yourself some human calming cookies, I'm going to take Pippin, give her some calming cookies and I basically just separated them for 20 minutes. I walked off and took Pippin off for a little wander to cool her down because she had got herself all a bit irate and sticky and sweaty. We just needed to have some calm and in order to do that I just separated them because if Leanne saw Pippin still stressing it worries her and you know the stress never goes away. But by the time I brought her back Leanne was all dressed and ready for her next class. Unfortunately it started to rain and it rained on us last year for this class but got them on board, got them in for the second class and this one was so much better. They've Both of them have had more karmas and it was a lot more peaceful. So this class is actually very similar to the last one, apart from you are in side saddle costume. Most side saddle people will have an outfit that is copying or representing a person or a famous painting. You, if you do that, you do have to be really accurate on your detailing. So that one there was obviously a queen, queen's dress. Leanne just has this beautiful green, just absolutely stunning, and it's how it would have been back in, you know, whenever, back in the day. The class runs the same, walk, trot, canter, go round, and it's just so nice to see all of the costumes in action. I won't lie, Leanne's costume is possibly one of my favourites. Green is very in this year. There's quite a lot of green dresses. I think there was three or four in this class. Now she was just making them walk because there was quite a few in this class. She wanted to make sure they all got across the diagonal safety. So they just needed to walk before they could pick up canter again. But look, it's such a good way of having a look at everyone's dresses. This other green one here is in fact my other wonderful friend Lucy and her pony Bailey. They also looked just absolutely stunning.
Now, exactly like the last class, they all came out in groups. Apart from with this one, you actually need to submit like a bit of paper that describes what your costume is. And for example, if you are representing a painting or a person, and you just give like a little detailed who made it, whether you made it, or whether you had it made for you. And this just gets read out over the tannoy. Oh, I just love watching everyone go round. I mean, this class is to do with when back in the day you'd get dressed up in your best dress, you'd ride your best horse, and you would go out across London, or wherever you were, and try to attract yourself a very rich man. So of course, everyone is there looking their absolute best, and it's just beautiful to see. Now, did you go to Royal Windsor if you didn't get a river photo? Well, both Pippin and Leanne were absolutely soaked. So we got them back, got plaits out, got them undressed, popped Pippin's rug on, and then we had to bring her back because we wanted to get photos and unfortunately Pippin cannot be left unattended. So she came with us and I stood and let her graze while her mummy went in and tried to get some photos. I then had five minutes spare time, so I went for a really quick run around the showground, popped over to the show jumping to watch them the warm up. I just kind of felt like I hadn't been to Windsor unless I'd had a really quick charge around the showground and had a quick look. I didn't do any shopping. Um, I think I did my fair share of shopping at badminton. And unfortunately, I didn't do a lorry tour either, and it feels really weird not to be doing a lorry tour. Quick glance at some more showing, but the rain was so bad. I felt so sorry for everyone that had spent so long getting ready, only for them just to get rained on. But the Spanish horses looked absolutely amazing. I love these traditional classes, and I think it's really spectacular that we still get to see this kind of thing. I then found the girls again, and it looks like all had been forgotten. All that stress and all that nightmare, but at the end of the day, She's always taken the best horse home, who was enjoying a booby scratch. So that's Windsor done for another year. So make sure you are following Leanne on Instagram and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Okay.